In the Gospel this week, Jesus confronts the reality of this pivotal moment of letting go and the growing awareness that if he continues to be faithful, he will lose his life. He says, Now my soul is troubled. Or as the message translation says, Right now I am shaken. And what am I going to say? Father, get me out of this? No, this is why I came in the first place. The fact that Jesus realized that suffering was an inevitable consequence of living out his mission does not mean he found it easy. He struggled and grappled as we all do. Seeing that Jesus was shaken as he confronted the cost of living his call encourages me. He knows he cannot backtrack or run away, that he must be true to sharing God's message, even when it angers those in authority and puts him in danger. Beneath the fear, something deeper is happening, his desire for God to be glorified through him. And as he prays from this, a voice from heaven said, I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. God stays very close, giving Jesus the strength he needs. And God also allows others close to Jesus to witness that affirmation so that they too are strengthened. Sometimes we also find ourselves shaken when we are sick or people we love are suffering from an illness, when we have to whistleblow on corruption or point out truths that will not make us popular with others. Like Jesus, we need to express our agony to God and allow Him to strengthen us. We may not hear an audible voice, but if what we are called to endure or stand up for is of God, if it is a necessary part of living faithfully to what we sense God has called us to, we, like Jesus, will be given the grace that we need. Let us ask today, where do I feel shaken? And how do I experience God's grace in these moments?